Hello everyone and welcome back to Everyday Husband Quotes, the channel for marriage advice, marriage entertainment, and everything else, marriage. Hey, hey guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. wife and I and it's okay. an unusual kind of event because we're together nobody gets to see Judge Faith live you know mm, <laughs> talking yeah. and uh, she has a book coming called Sis Don't Settle uh, How to Stay Smart in Matters of the Heart and then I have a new album called Here to Stay that's going to be coming very soon so we're going to be doing some some things from that so and, you're both uh, going to be uh, and is, is she going to get on stage with you um you know what she opens everything this is like a full out Kenny Lattimore are you concert. serious and then she does a uh like a, a excerpt from the book interview. Yes. Terry Vaughn is going to interview her oh, tonight Jerry's one of the dope. shows. And oh, really? It's, it's going to be a real, it's going to be a very, very unique experience tonight. That's dope. All right, so, you know, I got to ask you this question. Mm -hmm. How is it, bro? We've known each other for a long time. Yes. Since back in the early days in D.C., how is it that you have married a judge? <laughs> how is it being married to a judge? <laughs> You know what? Because you already know women are already, and now you got somebody who's I, validated. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the fact that she's a very clear thinker. Okay. And, uh, and more logical. You know, even when, when emotional things are going on, she has this way of going back. You know, she doesn't just stay in an emotional space if she's emotional. She's like, okay, I'm balanced. I have my emotion and all that. But having to judge and having to be fair and all that kind of stuff actually works in my benefit. Does it really? <laughs> wow. Does. It really does. It's not this thing like, she, she's not a personality that comes in like, I have to be right and I'm going to be, you know, she's not, she's not that at all. She's very much balanced. Yeah. All right. What, what's happy. her zodiac? What's your zodiac sign? Um, I'm Aries. I think she's, uh, what's, uh, September 21. So the she's a Virgo? Virgo. Virgo. She's Virgo. a Virgo. Virgo. Okay. And she's everything because yeah, so, I'm a Virgo. Okay. <laughs> And it's working. It's so working. Like, hey, it's a good balance, you know, to, to things. You know, I, I bring my superpower, she brings her superpowers to the table, and we make a great team. I, I really want to ask you about the book. Because uh -huh. Don't Settle Sis is everything, that title. Yeah. Yeah. And and oftentimes women do find themselves settling yeah. or they just don't think like they're gonna meet the one, right? That right. like checks off all the boxes. Like, can you tell us a little bit I more can about tell you the something. book? The book is great because uh she goes through various experiences. This is the book that she wishes that she had okay. when she was you know, coming up uh, dating because she was in New York through some of the prime uh, parts of her life. Mm. And she said it was kind of brutal out there in New yeah. York. But um, at 35, she talks about how people start to look at women like, why aren't you married? Right. There's something wrong, What's with, wrong you? with you. Yeah. What's wrong with you? And, and being single is not a uh, something that's that's bad right some people don't want to be married right mm -hmm. and, and it's okay you know to have this diversity in uh status if you will so the concentration becomes how do i become a high valued person a high valued woman what does that mean because it's not always about uh the other person it's about am i ready to be married am i able to bring my whole healthy uh, most present self to the relationship. That's right. That's right. So she has not only stories. So when you think about even the things to check off in right. the relationship, these are red flags, ladies. <laughs> this, 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 this. And if he's doing this, you know, this is truly a red flag. Don't be in denial. You know? Right. But um, it's something that, that guys can get into as well and learn about ladies because it's not a male bash. You know, we weren't going to let that happen. <laughs> <laughs> no Derek Jackson up in here. <laughs> so, so let me ask you a question. You know, so Kenny Lattimore. Yes. Okay, we played your song. Mm -hmm. That is the all-time greatest, the most famous wedding you had to sing that at. Uh, because I know people have called um, you to sing at their wedding. Carmelo, Anthony, and Lyle. Mm. I was gonna just say, please yeah. make sure they're still married. I know, and they're, and they're <laughs> uh, and I, was, I don't think, ooh, that's not good, ooh. You know, that's okay, but this, is, this was the story though. <laughs> Lala came to me. She said, when I was 17 years Aww. old, I heard this song for the first time. And wow. she said, this was going to be my wedding song. Wow. So it was a, a super, super honor Aww. to be at that wedding. And I mean, the whole, it was a who's who. Of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. That was great. Yeah. All the basketball players and the Kardashians and Kelly Rowlands. And the, it, was, it was just like amazing. So does your wife ask you to sing for her? Um, come on, people, you know, people got this <laughs> fantasy, or, the or, fantasy, or like, people you got this fantasy about or, Frank, <laughs> or do you sing while y'all are making love? Because <laughs> that would turn me on if my man just started singing. Okay. 
Let me tell you something. But women like, okay? I'm hollering when we're making love. I can't even say <laughs> Okay, but uh, but what happens that around the house, she actually does sing. Okay. Oh beautiful voice. Wow. Nice. So sometimes she she'll ask me to sing, but it's it's different. It's yeah. it's almost like I think she feels like this is corny. I don't mm. I don't want to make it like you know, you work all the time, you're always singing. But when we're around the house, she'll be like, Oh, let's let's just sing this together. Aww. Really? She'll, she'll break out in something, I'll harmonize with it. But a lot of times she'll feel like I'm over the top. <laughs> <laughs> if I say, I'm going to do some runs and do some different things, it's going to be like, oh, man, he's just got to show off. I, I'm, I'm really happy for y'all, bro. I'm really happy for y'all. I am, too. That's Black beautiful. Black love, and, baby. and the fact that you're doing, you're, you're singing songs, you're doing tour, you're going to be... You're gonna be at City Winery tonight. Yep. Yep. She'll be there yeah. doing yeah. her thing. That's a beautiful relationship, man. I, I think, think that's what you. people want. And this Absolutely. is our first time being on the road together. And it's funny because uh, in the show, night before last, she said, you know what? I really have a new respect for what you do. Aww. Yeah. Because this is brutal, it's hard, you yeah. know, being on the road, but, but she's having a lot of fun because I've done it for so long. I've got a great team with me that has been making it comfortable for yeah. her. Yeah, that's she super can, dope. Yeah, she can do it. You can still get tickets yeah. at City Winery. There's only a few left for City Winery tonight or on KennyLattimore.com. All right, and I know this show is bigger than just uh, here in Atlanta. Yeah. But if you are in, uh, well, Atlanta tonight, Nashville tomorrow. Nice. And then we do a show in Los Angeles and we close in New nice. York on the release date, November 9th of System Settle. All right, that's beautiful, Kenny. Good to see you, my good friend. Good to see you. Thanks I'm for really proud of you. And, and yes. I meant to ask you: Are you have you gone vegan or something? Because you, <laughs> you done got it together, bro. I'm just working hard on that stage. I know <laughs> that's what it is. I'm losing weight. And he's working hard in that bedroom. Okay. <laughs> All <laughs> right, happy, Nita Brown. Happy spouse, happy house. Yeah, he looks man. happy. Yeah, man. Did you Definitely. just say happy spouse, happy house? <laughs> oh, I like that. Happy Cause see that balances it. That, that means the got the, the husband's gotta be happy That's and the wife right. gotta be happy. It ain't I just about that. the wife. <laughs> I like that. Okay, I give her one for that one. All right, everybody, it's eight oh nine.